Nothing is as frustrating and as satisfying as Notion. You download Notion thinking this is it, I'm finally going to get productive, stop procrastinating and reach my goals. You download a few templates, take some notes, start trying out all the features, but mostly spend your time not really doing anything more than customizing your Notion and making it look nice, but you end up losing the thread for what you really came for and you never open it again for years. This is what I did the first time I used Notion. But here is the thing. Notion is one of the best tools out there to get organized, manage your project and reach your goals, but it's also one of the easiest to misuse. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the 10 most common mistakes people make when using Notion and more importantly, how to avoid them so that you can effectively become more productive and consistent in the long run. Let's go. The first mistake is only using Notion as a text editor. Notion is way more than just a fancy note taking app. If you're using it to write down random thoughts, lecture or meeting notes, great, it's a good start. But you're missing out a great part of its real power. Start exploring database and its many views or have a look at what other users are achieving on the app. You're only at the beginning of a fantastic adventure. The next mistake is getting overwhelmed by features. After a few days, you are seeing the potential of what could Notion bring to your life, but the beginning's enthusiasm will start fading away. You are hitting the wall of the learning curve. You will have dozens of ideas of cool things to create and track on Notion, but the features, number and complexity will slow you down. You will feel overwhelmed. This step is your first true test. You don't have to master everything at once. Here is the trick. Start small. Create simple pages like a to-do list or your yearly goals. Then, each week, learn one new feature. Filters, formulas, relations, one at a time. Notion is a long-term learning tool. You don't have to be a Notion master overnight. Set weekly learning objectives and you will be able to materialize all your ideas within only a few weeks. The third mistake is thinking you need to build templates from scratch. A lot of people think I can't use Notion because I can't build my own templates. Wrong. You can be incredibly productive on Notion without ever having to create your own template, efficiently using Notion in your everyday life and being a template creator are two different things. It would be like to confuse an architect and someone living in the building. You don't have the time or desire to create your own templates. Don't worry, Notion Marketplace is here for you. You will find templates for every use. For freelancers, students, businesses or personal life, all you need to do is choose templates that fit your need, customize it your way, add your data and see the results. The fourth mistake is not having Notion on all your devices. The real power is having one central brain across all your devices and every time with you. You're walking and want to capture an ID or you're at the gym and want to check your last week's performance, no problem. Grab your phone and install Notion to have it at any time. Bonus tip, add the Notion widget for super quick access to your favorite pages. Productivity is about reducing friction and synchronizing Notion across devices is a great part of that. The fifth mistake is getting distracted. On Notion, you have two main enemies customization possibilities and other pages. I explain. You will often find yourself spending more time picking the right emoji or color image than actually completing your tasks. I can't blame you, nothing is more satisfying than creating good-looking and aesthetic templates on Notion. Or when working, you will have a sudden desire to click on other pages to explore it and end up losing the thread on what you were initially doing. 
Here are my advices. First, hide the side panel to fully focus on your work. Second, come with clear objectives and stick to them. You will find all the time to customize your pages later. Let's level up with the sixth mistake, ignoring the power of related databases. This one is a game changer. Many Notion users create isolated databases, a list of tasks, a calendar, some notes, but they never really connect them. The real magic happens when you link related data. Let's say you have a project database and a task database, link them together. That way, when you open the project, you see all the tasks related to it automatically. Do the same for your notes, resources, expenses, and many other things. That way, it adds context, it reduces duplication, and creates a smooth workflow. If you never tried related databases, now is the time. Next mistake, overcomplicating your setup. Some people go wide with pages, all imbricated in each other, and most of them taking the dust. It might feel cool, but it doesn't work long term. If your setup feels heavy and like a char, you're not going to use it. Adopt the minimum viable productivity mindset. Ask yourself, did I use this page in the last month? If no, archive it. And trust me, on Notion, always prioritize simplicity over complexity. Mistake number eight, skipping weekly reviews. Notion isn't a place to dump your life and forget about it. Your workspaces will need a weekly maintenance to sort all the accumulated information. Take 10 minutes each week to review tasks, notes, reflect on your week and update your priorities for the next one. This fresh start will save you countless hours. Mistake number nine, not tapping into the community. This one changed everything for me. You don't have to learn Notion alone. Reddit has a great community at r slash Notion. People share templates, give advices and post creative solutions. And on YouTube, you have dozens of creators who break things down and helps you get better every week. Honestly, some of my best ideas and biggest breakthroughs came just from watching a five minutes video or reading a Reddit comment. Use the community, it's here to help. The final mistake and maybe the biggest one is not subscribing to Power of Habits. I'm only getting started here on YouTube, but you will already find Notion tutorials from how to use formulas, create dashboards, to how to organize your life using the system I built, the Life Planner. The Life Planner is an all-in-one productivity system that combines habit tracking, project management, personal life, and much more. I used it to create this video and to manage my entire life, and you can too. I put the link to it in the description to perform with Notion and finally reach your goals. Thank you for watching this video. Which mistake are you guilty of? Let me know in the comments. If you want more videos like this, hit the like button. Ciao.